Good morning and welcome to Mom and Ed and Loki for January the 10th, 2023. Day two in Indy again. Back here kind of semi, maybe semi-regularly, at least for a little bit. How's everyone doing today? I don't see an Ed yet, but maybe we'll have an Ed soon. Or maybe Ed's got a real life today. Yeah, how dare he? How dare people have real lives that don't involve me? But no worries, we have stuff we can do. Um, I will be on tonight, hopefully with all of you joining us, and we're going to be doing the Gamma Squadron skirmishes, which I know people don't like. But the reality is, if you play it right, you can rack up a lot of marks for the Gamma Quadrant. And are we on an extra marks weekend? No, we're on a nothing weekend, right? Loki's looking at me going, huh? I think we're not doing anything at the moment, which is kind of fun. And I'm slowly trying to get through getting all of these uh, Omega things done, because I just have a few... Loki, dear, yes, Mom loves you. And Loki's trying to bleh, lick my fingers while I'm using the keyboard. Loki, uh, I, I, I love her dearly, but you don't lick my fingers? I guess we'll do this with the mouse. This isn't a I don't love my dog, this is a don't lick my fingers. You don't know where they've been, sweetie. Okay, let's see how we're doing there. Oh, good, I screwed up two of those. No problems, we can come back and fix those. So, just to give you a clue about how bad things are, I still have 3,600 um, omegas that need to be processed. Which, if I leave my computer up and running, is absolutely fine. Because then I can do it during the workday and just reach over and go click, 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 click. Do I remember to do that? No, 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 no. I do not. I'd kind of like to get them done before the anniversary event, which is February 10th-ish. I have no idea what they've got planned for this year. We usually have some fun toys there. And are the guns off the anniversary event? Let's see. There they are. Yes, they are. So the anniversary toys, anniversary party horns. I don't usually get them. And then I realize they've got fun stuff you can do, but I never realize it then. So while we're waiting for Ed, just in case he shows up today, um, I've got some defeat Voth on the ground and some Tetrion damage on the ground, which I suppose we ought to put those two together, right? Right. I hate doing the Voth on the ground only because they're kind of scattered all over the map versus uh, Borg, where you can go to one location, and the Borg will come to you. Well, let's see who that was. Excuse me, my phone just went off. <laughs> Klingons who use spell check have no honor. It's spelled with you. Badumtish. Very good, sir. Very good. Okay, do I love it that people have my home phone number and are texting me during the show? Yes, yes, I am happy about that. That just makes my day. Just All makes right. my day. Hey, woo, my voice is low today. So I s found something on um, uh, internet last night as I was driving home from my class in Bloomington about people who use their voice professionally and a phone app that you can use to coach your voice, you know, to train your voice to be more whatever you want, authoritative, more compassionate, uh, more businessy, more personal, less emotional, more emotional. I think it's called voice, ch uh, voice coach? Let's see if I can find it again here. Yeah, I can watch that now. Uh, no, that's Fiverr. Where is it? Vocal Coach. It's called Vocal Coach. There's another one called Vocal Image, but I don't know that one. Now, that, that's really interesting. <coughs> oh, and apparently there's also a uh, online app that you can use to improve your singing voice, which I suspect will be a little bit like using a video game to improve your golf swing. I, I'm I'm not a singer, thank you very much. Definitely not a singer. Good morning, Yari. I, I don't have an edge yet. I have not seen an Ed in the game. 
Let's see if he's shown up yet. I know he has a real life some days. Yeah, we're still Edless here. Lots of other awesome people here. But just me for the moment. Oh, and Loki. Let us not forget Loki. For those of you who don't know Loki, she is Farnsey's dog. She's like a, a big, gigantic, six-pound... Uh, what are you? Papillon. Who is sitting on my lap. You can tell it's not my dog because she's sitting on my lap. And my dogs can sit on my lap, but then I won't have a lap left. Who decided, since I only had four hours of sleep last night, that at four o'clock she definitely needed to go outside. So I'm not a really happy person at the moment. Because four hours of sleep does not do well. Loki, stop. That's enough. Alright, so... Where are we going to go? We're going to go up there. That's a little bit easier. No, I need them. So this is Rasul's build. Uh, I think it's the gung-ho ground tank. Except for the moment I switched out the weapon for the Tetrion. Which I started playing with yesterday and... Or the day before uh, Tante sent it to me. I'm really enjoying this one. Do I want to do this one? Well, I'll get my ground damage. Well, who knows? Maybe I'll get things. But I wish they would revamp this so you'd get a few more enemies in this a little bit more often. Well, thank you very much. I... So I was in choir when I was in school. I was in all the choirs they had. So uh, the concert choir, the symphonic choir, the girls choir, and the fun part was I was also in the boys choir. And I have a terrible singing voice, so they definitely didn't put me in there because I'm a good singer. They put me in there because I can play the piano. So it would be one of those, yeah, you just play the piano, move your mouth so it looks like you're singing, and just shut up. Don't sing. But I'll take the compliment on having a nice voice. Ooh, I've gotten six Foth. Ooh, how exciting. feel bad, though, that shooting a dinosaur counts. It's just like sh shooting the cows should not count as part of a hunting trip. I had a meeting yesterday with our uh, social media company, and we're still in the very early phases of it, so beating up concepts and ideas and they'd sent us a prototype of something they want to do, and it was nice, but not exactly what we were looking for. And I had that feeling from Dilbert, where at the last day before the product goes live, the boss has some final comments. One of them is, well, um, we just wanted to get some feedback from the customers, and it appears they wanted hardware, not software. So I was trying to spare them from the last minute, oh, we changed our minds about everything type thing. Fortunately, I used that analogy, and they found that humorous, so yay. And I suppose it's better to tell them right then and there that mm, that's not exactly what you're looking for, rather than waiting for a month. Why doesn't this one let me pick that up? Ooh. Oh, because my keyboard's effed up. That would explain it. There we go. Did I get... My 20. No, I only got 15. I almost got all the damage, though. Ooh, let's go over. No, oh, somebody else is going over there. Don't take away my Voth. I need them. And if the animals count, how come the swarmers don't count? 
Maybe they could count as like a fifth of a voth each. Well, somebody's over here having fun. I'll go get that guy. I'll get that guy while we're at it. Are you going to do that? Oh, he's doing that one. Good for him. Yay! Two hold of lithium. Wow, I don't know how I'm going to spend that. Okay, and that person's going to run off. Okay, so this is back to Razul's build, <coughs> which is mostly the Kumarki set. Dudes, hit all the buttons so we can all get some dilithium out of this. They're going to go over there. I guess I'll go over here then. I still need one more Voth. I won't say this tank is indestructible as a ground thing, but darn if it isn't fun. So it's the Kumarki set. Um, the backup weapon typically is the Lucari piezoelectric wrist device, which I like. I find it's a fun weapon. Okay, let's get the big guy down here. Oh, there's one. <gasps> Maybe that gives me... No! I didn't get that one. How, how dare they? I just need one more. Oh good, they gave us two. Maybe I'll get one. Yay! So I got those two out of the way. Well, that would explain it. I was over in the chat box somehow. All right, what do we have left? Oh, Zenkethi ships in space. I love this tune. It's not going to do well on Zenkethi ships, I don't think. What do we... Oh, I know. Yes, we can do it on this one. Da -da 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 -da. What's in progress? Cylind Charybdis. I love Cylind Charybdis because the protomatter uh, torpedoes count as Zenkethi ships. I don't know who put that in there, but I think that's brilliant. Yeah, exactly. So as a tank, you can switch between the two, but it's got enough offensive power, especially if you've got everything upgraded, and then you've got everything tweaked out for max kit performance, which I don't at the moment, but working on it. Kind of need to do a reset, and I think I've only got like a gazillion respec keys. This is the ship I need to respect, though, because it's it's my jellyfish that the fleet gave me, and I just haven't done a good job with whatever it could be. See what I mean? Torpedoes count. So I started with one of Augie's torp builds and just never went to town on finishing it up. So if you had a jellyfish, would you make it a torp build? Would you do something else with it? Oh! Oh! Okay. Let's acknowledge that I somehow set this on elite. Oops. 
I'm gonna get out of here and restart this one on a better level. This is a side tune. That's the weird thing. But because she's been... It's my original tune, but she's never been great on anything in terms of a build. Because, you know, it's the first one I started way back 13 years ago. Almost 13 years ago? Almost 14 years ago? When did this game start? Uh, 13 years ago, because it started in 2010. All right, yeah. There we go. That makes my life a little bit easier. Yeah, 2010. Okay, so, yeah. I've been playing this for 13 years, and this is the original tune. So everything I was doing with it was just kind of guessing at how to put everything together. It's good if you don't have to do a lot of getting on target. But there's also the issue of delayed gratification. You shoot off the torps and then you wait. Versus beams which are more pew pew instant. Ooh, it went dead. I have only two more ships here to kill. I'm not going to worry about it. Who's that? Another torpedo? Yes, let's go get the torpedo. One more. I don't care. So, should I switch this back over to a beam build? Should I go cannon? Okay, there's my five. We can ignore this now. We were at the, as I've said many times, my son and I were at the original Star Trek convention when the game was still in development. And then it went live <coughs> in beta, what, the end of 2009, beginning of 2010. And my son got it, me signed up for the beta. <coughs> and then my husband and my son convinced me to do a lifetime subscription was like two months in, and I played for a while, and then I stopped playing until my son picked it up, um, and then I played with him for a while. But I really didn't get the game, so I didn't play as much as I could until Legacy of Romulus came out. And that story for me was absolutely wonderful. I really enjoyed that, and got me back in the game seriously at that point. But I'd come home from work, and I'd play a mission or two, and I'd get really frustrated because I didn't get it. I wasn't in a fleet, and I didn't know that there was chat online and stuff like that. So it took me a long time to really get into the game, and I'm still not good at the game. But that's irrelevant. Give me one sec here, I'm going to switch over to my other account. So, since I'm working on one monitor... <coughs> CSV. I don't think that's common separated value. It is in my world, but... Let me jump over here. Oh, yeah, now the dog lies down. Yay! I can type today. Always a good thing. And there we go. Let's see what Gorney's got going on today. And today we've got Herc Frigate's Voth ships. What is it with the Voth? What is with the Voth lately? I had Voth almost every day this week and last week. Um, 
30 baht on the ground yesterday on both accounts. And I think the same on Sunday. It was just crazy. This is all space, but this is not a good AP. So, let's see. Who's got the AP? Me complicatus or complicatus? Oh, I'm very aware that Ed is good at the game, and yes, I definitely draw on Ed. And for that matter, DT makes some good builds, Frost makes some good builds. And I appreciate and love getting help from everybody, so yay. Oh, um, what, the new event starts today? Yeah, so the new event starts today because, gosh darn it, we haven't had an event for hours now. Let's see if I've got any left, maybe. Maybe I've got some contraband left here. Apparently not, no, okay. Yes, I do have to go do some doffing. I do have to do my admiralty, or as DT would say, my admiralty. Herc frigates, where shall I go for that? Ah, are we queued up for a little home? I think it's sad that I've got all these to the point. Oh, perfect, perfect. Let's make sure we've got the AP build on here, though. And, oh, plasma. Hmm. <gasps> this isn't my AP build. Uh-oh. It is the speed demon. Let's switch over to speed demon. I'm always having fun trying to remember who's got which. Um, Complicatus has Tetrion and Polaron. Speed demon has got AP and phasers. And Gorney's got disruptors. So I just have to switch between them. Makes life a little bit easier. Oops, wrong one. What the heck? She doesn't have the... That's not right. I didn't do something stupid like get rid of it, did I? No! I'm trying to... Small battle mom? No. Let's try that again. Oh, that's why, duh! There we go. Do I have anything else that's AP-ish here? Not really. Let's get the flashing green lights out of my way for the morning. And no, don't tell Sav I didn't do anything else on cleaning out the inventory last night. I had class last night. It was a fun class, too. I'm still able to walk. My wrists aren't broken. Didn't break any fingers. It was a good day. Okay, what do I need? I need 500,000. Do I have anything AP in here? No. No. Let's see if there's anything in the fleet bank. Wow, we have a lot of nothing in here. Okay, I think we need to have a fleet party, give away everything in the bank, get everything cleaned out. Ooh, I think we got enough stuff there. And start from scratch. Ooh, maybe during the anniversary event. Kick it off with a big party and get rid of everything. Ooh, I think that's a good idea. We will do that. All right, now I'll try this one. Ugh. 
as it slowly practices counting 0 to 100. How many do I need? Oh, ten! Oh no, this will be so challenging. I've got to move that. <coughs> That one a lot faster than I thought it would. All right, one more. Just one more. When we're halfway there in our damage, we can pick up the rest at the Voth. Yay! Oh joy, Voth ships! Of course, I don't really care about you. I want you guys. Alright. No, 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 no. Oh, I suppose that's one way to get out of the map. So, Yari, the big thing that I've got to start working on is my Acheron, which is on a brand new tune, but I need... <laughs> I'm trying to decide. It's the Emperor's ship. Do I want it to be overpowered? Do I want it to be super tanky because it's got to protect the Emperor? It can't really be both. Good morning, Wolfie. How are you today? I mean, if you were the Emperor's ship, would you be a tank? Would you be super overpowered because, you know, you're macho? I mean, he is the Emperor. Well, no, you don't have to have one. You get to decide what you want to do with it. This is your theoretical Acheron. I mean, I'm uh, doing this because I'm writing a story, which I'm planning then to kind of create a video, a mini-series, if you will. But while not quite ship foo, it will be somewhat close to ship foo. The ship does have a personality, so therefore you have to decide what kind of personality the ship would have. Yet the only reason I have one is somebody very kindly gave me one. It's not in my budget to have one of those. All right, Katang, where are you? There's so we go. Let's see if I can make the name ship pop up here. 
That was only four ships? All that shooting was four ships? Seriously? Oh, it's because I'm too far over. Stop shooting my ships, I need them. Well, there's the AP damage. Let's see if we can get the remaining two ships here. By the way, I'm running the chat off my phone, so if I'm not answering quickly, it's because I'm getting older and it's hard to see those darn little letters. Alright, there's my 10. Yay! Wow, it's very quiet. Nobody's on today. But, 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 but it's first thing in the morning. Everybody's usually jamming up everything this time of day. <laughs> yeah, he says, keep calling, blame Kel. Yep. Oh, no. Oh, no, 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 no. I'm so sorry. My boss has been gone for a couple of weeks. She and her husband went off to, you know, do the holiday thing with their parents and, you know, visit friends and family. And she came back limping. And she did something bad to her knee. So she's off to the doctor today. Hopefully they can get her in. But, you know, it's hard to see a doctor, especially a specialist on zero notice. All right. What shall we do? What shall we do? Loki's looking at me like, I don't know. I just work here. Don't want to do the Gamma Squadron because we're going to do that tonight. Let's see. I know. Let's jump back over to the other account. Bear with me for just a moment here. I realized I'm doing a show tonight, even though uh, it is 10 forward tonight. Alright, so Brock never finished a lot of missions because Ed and I didn't do the solo missions. And being a completionist, which is a terrible habit, but it's what I am, let's do some completioning. And every time I start this to do the solos, Ed shows up. So this will magically bring Ed to us. Give me one second here. I'll jump back over and fix that if I didn't already. There we go. Loki, that's fine, dear. You don't have to lick my fingers. Stuff. Ooh. Ooh. Okay, Brock's got to get some stuff taken care of here. Where are we? Oh, we're at Popo. Um... Let's go clean this up just a little bit here. Yes, yes, I love you. Yes, you're a good girl. I'm 
so I am assuming that the red alert will start. Well, there isn't a patch scheduled today, is there? I didn't see it just now. So probably start 10 a.m. ish. And I realize it's a red alert and probably it's not something I need to do set my 20 hour mental alarm for. But I probably will. Alright, let's get rid of some of the stuff and let's go over and Grab some of the goodies we've got stashed. Ah! Oh, maybe I'm not going to class tomorrow. I was saying I didn't get hurt. <laughs> I think I got hurt. Ouch! We were doing something called a shoulder lock. And I'm super flexible, so it's usually not a pain. I just want to lift my shoulder up and... Oh, that is not a comfortable sensation. Did I open that on the wrong tune? I think I opened that on the wrong tune. Darn it. No, that would have been fine. It wouldn't have been there. Would it? Anything else? Oh yeah, let's get all this junk out of here. Why do they still give away the armored, or the uh, EV suits as a prize when they're auto-built into you? be something I would phase out of here. Badum tish phase out, badum. Humor! Okay, Brock, let's go clean out the bank. And what are we at? We're at 640. We can probably be part of the mission, I think. Unfortunately, I think a lot of what he has to do with things like Voth. Ugh. I mean, the Voth are fine. I love Dyson Sphere, but there's not a lot of story in the Dyson Sphere. It's just stuff to do. Let's see where we're at here. Yeah, so all this... Oh, we have played a lot of it. <gasps> Yay! Have I done Fluidic Destruction? Apparently I've started it. Let's do that one. You know, going back and tweaking old stuff would be fun. It's not everybody's cup of tea, but it would be really nice. Uh, okay, fluidic destruction. 
Well, we're there apparently. Let's see if it starts this up for us. Hmm. Okay. I did not want to start that up for us. But going back and fixing old problems um, takes time. Time equals money. What's the return on it for them? And this isn't me bitching and moaning about it. I totally get it. Been in enough businesses where you have to make a decision. What is a good return? But if you're not going to upgrade and fix all the old problems, you need to consider maybe it's time to pull that episode or whatever. There we go. Let's make you the primary. Okay, we are there. Let's see if that does that better. I would like to see a lot of old stuff revisited, cleaned up. I'd like to see the Voth ground zone revisited and tanned up. Okay, why does this not want to do this? Does it want us to go to the space battle zone? Okay, that's interesting. Let's see if it wants us to do space. Maybe it wants me to drop this and go back and restart it. <gasps> Thank you very much. Oh, that was it? That was fluidic destruction? Well, at least I got some XP out of it, but wow, that was not impressive. Surface tension. Okay, let's see if we can do that. Off we go to do surface tension. Yeah, apparently, Wolfie, we do not have an ed today. It's just us guys. He may have gone off to do personal stuff. I mean, how dare he, but... So Wolfie, I was just mentioning in general, I don't know if you heard it, that we I need to do a fleet party because I want to clean out the inventory. Everything that's in the inventory needs to be given away, in my opinion, completely emptied out because we don't do anything with our fleet banks. People don't even realize it's a resource they can tap into. They assume they have to go out and buy everything. Good, good morning, Loki. Welcome back. Do you want to come up here while it's loading? Yes, you can do that. So Loki's like 8 inches tall, 10 inches tall, she's little, and my bed is uh, 24 inches off the ground, so she has to step back, build up some speed, race for it, leap, and jump on my bed, and then I've got all the blankets at the end of it that adds a lot of height to it, so the poor little thing has to do all this work. No, put your paw down. Put your paw down. All right. I really don't enjoy these ones where we have a lot of run around chit chat with people. Tell everybody to sit their butts down in a chair. But I'll take this. All right, Tuvok. Though I will say, if you're making a video, this is a nice get everyone gathered part of the story for visuals. And now we go talk to everybody. Okay. Oh good, I get to go intimidate people. Ooh. Yeah, I'm going to intimidate Garrick. I <laughs> don't think so. All right, Ferengis, where are you? There's Ferengi. Yeah. 
<laughs> Running faster than the staircase. Alrighty, more talking. Sit your butt down. Go sit your butt down. Brock would not be as nice as I am. Go sit your butt down. Who else needs to be intimidated and told to sit down? Stas. And back to Tuvok. Let's go talk to some more people. Sit down. It's like me at Christmas dinner. Go sit down. Oh, back in the day. Back in the day. When my mother would have a Christmas dinner a couple of days after Christmas when everybody... This was after all the kids were getting married. Um, and they all wanted to spend Christmas Day with you know their other family, their in-laws. My mom would basically have a second Christmas, full dinner, Christmas tree, and everything else at the house. So there might be 20 people at the house with all the kids, um, their significant others, boyfriends, girlfriends, children if there were children, grandchildren if there were grandchildren. And at some point, one of us would get assigned to go tell everybody to put their butts in a chair so she could start dinner. And I think it was one of the hardest parts of the entire evening was, just just go sit down. I want to eat food. A significant hey, Joshua, good morning. Ooh, Joshua has nine SROs on his main tune. Excellent. Now that SROs are a little bit more available, it's... Oh, I know this one. This is a big one. Am I going to be able to do this in 11 minutes? No. That's okay. We can put a dent in it. This is actually one of my favorite episodes. I love the end of it. When Sean and the Aquarius make a suicide run to take out the Undine. Oops, wrong, t wrong one. There we go. As soon as I get a moment, I'll see if I've done something stupid or not. I scanned the darn gas. Okay. Ooh, I'm a fluidic space layer. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Yeah, I'll say. Oh, good. I'm not quite as stupid as I thought. So when I've got uh, hull damage, repair hull damage, I'll drop my shields and take them off and take off the deflectors so I can maximize the amount of damage. And sometimes I forget to put the shields back on. Which is embarrassing. So if I remember right, we have to go do some work on the space station, then we have to come back. But have we done Delta Quadrant yet? This one, the one where we get the broken egg accolade. Yes, I have a mechanical keyboard now, which is why it's going click, 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 click. It's so bad I can't use my uh, Yeti mic with it. It's a great keyboard, though. So now I like the clicky clicky. I like the sound. My microphone hates the sound. Oh, wow. 
Okay, Joshua says my Lexington fun build 51% crit chance and 215.6 crit severity. <laughs> Remind me not to be your enemy. I, I'm going to say that space dock is pretty close to destroyed. Of course, if they were going to put in for an insurance claim, they'd probably go, oh, no, 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 it's just minor surface damage. We're not going to cover it. We'll give you a rental. Story right, wasn't this a diversionary tactic while they attacked Kronos? <laughs> ESD just needs polish. Let's see if Brock can take out the Dreadnought. Little hope. My boy, you're doing good. I'm never how good. How, I'm sorry. I'm never sure how good a build is when I'm playing with Ed because, you know, by the time you get there, everything's dead. Because it's it's Ed. And for the same reason I don't always bother with making a really good build because, you know, Ed. So this account, the endeavors are fully done, but on the other one, I th think I'm a little bit behind you, Joshua. But yes, I still do them every day because at some point they'll think about increasing the cap and I will have it maxed out again. All right, where are we going to go now? Yeah, that looks pretty toasted to me. Alright, so let's see if we can run through this and then we'll finish it up tomorrow if Ed's not here. Earth space dock has sustained severe damage from multiple Undine boarding parties. We must locate Admiral Quinn. Wow, old ESD. I love old ESD. That was such a nice map. Tuvok. Anybody else? There is we need to Be cautious. 
cautious. There are more undine nearby. Well, okay then. Fortunately, all my toys are well recharged. Because of the font choice they have here, I occasionally read this as being a Pi Warrior rather than a Psy Warrior. I think well, that was so kind of them to name it after Pi. Here. Asps. Very dangerous. You go first. If I remember right. There we go. There it is. I knew there was an accolade in here. There's actually, I think, three accolades. And one you can't get unless you run this twice because it's the number of. Undine you kill, maybe? Get shiny stuff. Oh, one more guy. Don't you throw that brain stuff at me. Foreshadowing anybody? button.
So as soon as I hit a spot here, Wolfie, I will stop for a second and read your dialogue. So Wolfie says, So my oldest brother came to visit and said, You have all these mangoes and you just let it go to waste. I told him, but they get slung away before they're ripe. Then he told me I should pick them like I do avocados, pick them green and let them ripen in the fridge. I did not know that. I am now going to eat my very first mango from my own tree after living here for over 10 years. Wow, I love mangoes. Good morning, Mr. Dave. Okay, we're going to have to wrap up this ground section here, which I know is a bit complex. Uh, 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 let's see. Let's see, where do we have to find the Admiral? Alrighty, let's see where we got some Undine. There. Oh, I'm letting my toys recharge here. Oh, don't shoot, Quinn. Tempting as it is. There. Kick him in the back. That is just so mean. Where are you, Admiral Quinn? There you are. Thank you. Egg? Where are you going? One moment. Doom, doom, doom. <gasps> Mr. Dave's going into the office today. Is your mom going to be okay if you're in the office? Okay, that was interesting. Okay, well, I'll just chill here while you do that. Well, you're 21 meters away. I'm not going to shoot at you. This is the place that you want the agony field. How'd that tapping into the biofield work for you? Toys! Toys and accolades! Yay! It's a good day! Can you hear me? Tuvok. Tuvok. Okay. I just worry about you and your mom, Mr. Dave. Ha oh, oh, ha oh. ha. It's Dr. Cooper. Hello. Tuvok. Agate was too weak. He's 
spent too much time among humans. He served his purpose, and you would be far too late. Too late for what? Your quadrant will fall. The weak will perish. This dimension. The tunes will over enunciate. them you know everything just go deal with it it's like when the bond villain tells him the entire plot <sighs> you're not supposed to tell them make them figure it out for themselves Admiral. yes loki Okay, we're going to beam over there because I'm sure that's going to take us over into the next part of the episode, but we're not going to play that today. Oh, Loki's in my headset. There we go. We will play this next time Ed's not around, or maybe I'll finish it up at some point. But with that, I'm going to head out. Let's see if anybody else is on and we can go raid them. We raided Alt Lexington yesterday, so let's see who is around. Yes, I hear you. For yourself. Yes, dear, I hear you. Mm, let's see. Um, wow, well, there's a couple of people on. Ooh, the great Cornholio is on. Ian DeFalco is on. Let's go read Ian DeFalco. Give him a little bit of love here. There we go. So on behalf of Ed, who's not here, and me and Loki, who are here, I hope everybody has a great day. Be safe, be sound, don't be stupid. Well, we did Cornholio last week, so let's try and share the love here. And if you haven't given your attention and love to Ian, please do so. You know, that's how we're all going to get better here. Have a great day, everybody, and we will talk to you later.